Hello and welcome to GDP Online. So you will, after you get your registration code and after you've registered, you will enter your username and password here. Please don't forget your username and password. Put it in a safe place where your instructor will not have access to your username and password. They do have something here to help you for, uh, if you did forget your password, but please keep them in a safe spot. So once you get into GDP, you, your screen will look like this. And um, GDP has now sectioned off each of the assignments in parts. So each part is going to consist of units. So for um, how you know your assignments or what is due of you, you always want to go in Blackboard and this is for key one uh, under unit one assignments. I see here what my assignments are for the week. So I'm supposed to do 1A through 1J. So I can go back and see that I have to do 1A through 1J. If you ever see a, a circle with a triangle, it means you've started something and you have yet to complete it. And the green um, checks mean that you have completed it. So you simply just click on 1A to start and you would read through this and you would click next down at the bottom. If next is ev never or is, if it's ever not working, you can simply come up here uh, back up to your part and click on the next item from here. So then you will eventually get to an assignment and you do need your book when you're working with GDP online because you, for example, this assignment, you're going to have to look at 1C in your book to complete it. So after you're done with the assignment for the week, then you don't have to do anything. You don't have to turn anything in and your instructor will be able to find your work. So now let's quickly go over the tabs up top. So we just covered the lesson tab. Skill building are exercises to help you build your speed and accuracy, and you will reach these throughout the lesson. But if you ever wanted to do extra work, you can come out here to skill building and click on drills, new keys, or warm ups, and you can get extra work. The same goes for math. Math, again, just helps you working with um, errors that you keep receiving. And you, again, can do extra work here if you, if you would like to increase your speed or time. Time writings are here. And through each course in keyboarding, you are required to do timing. So here is a great way of uh, getting more practice with timing. And you'll see they have one minute, two minute, three minute, and so forth. Language arts, again, is a another great example of how you can get some keyboarding exercises done, including some great information on um, punctuation, proofreading, com composing, and, and spelling. This reference manual is a great tool for when you do Word documents within GDP. So um, let's say you're working on a correspondence application letter, you forgot what it's supposed to look like you can come here and it will show you what it's to look like. And my GDP shows you your scores as well as this is where your instructor will retrieve your scores to put into Blackboard. Okay, so going back to lessons, um, again, you find all your work and what you are to be doing in Blackboard. And I quickly wanted to show you, uh, for example, in Keyboarding 1 under Unit 7, there will be times where you're going to skip around your in GDP. So you want to make sure you go out here and, and look. So for example, in 20, lesson 26, I'm only to do A. I can skip B, 26C. Um, you're going to read through these items. So again, really make sure you follow Blackboard and know what's due of you. But again, you're always welcome to do more work and to help you with your speed. Uh, lesson one enrichment, again, every lesson is going to have an enrichment. They are not assigned to you, but you are more welcome to go out there and complete these. 
Another great tool I wanted to show you is your help button. Your help button is really extremely useful. Um, it will, any type of question you have, uh, you can just click on it and it immediately takes you to a website that will help you hopefully with the question you have. So, for example, if you had a question on word wrap, um, it will take you right here. Okay, if you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to ask, or you can also look um, at the other tools and resources we gave you under Unit 1. Good luck!